So far in the series, we talked about a lot of things that are a total fucking waste of time, and we talked about why. A lot of people can look at someone doing an exercise, but they can't quite put their finger on it, but they know subconsciously that that just doesn't look right, and it looks like a total fucking waste of time. So we explained why. We said direction of effort, direction of resistance. Do they oppose or not? If not, total fucking waste of time. We said load times time under optimal tension. The greater load, greater time under optimal tension, greater growth response. You sacrifice the load or time under optimal tension, total fucking waste of time. And surely people are sitting out there saying, you know what? Can you even start a conversation about things that are a total fucking waste of time without including the BOSU ball? Surely he's going to talk about the BOSU ball, right? I mean, you can't do a series called, well, that's a complete waste of time without actually including the BOSU ball. And being a man for the people, by the people, whatever you want to call it, of course we're going to talk about the BOSU ball. I'm going to give the people what they want. And it's not going to be pretty. That's why I wore all black for this. Like a funeral, you wear black when someone dies. That's what's about to happen to the BOSU ball. Because the BOSU ball is the biggest total fucking waste of all time. And I'm going to get to this in a second, but that's going to be the kill shot. That's the main event right there. We'll talk about some reasons why this is a total fucking waste of time. First thing, load times time under optimal tension. How much weight can you use on an unstable surface? So not even just the BOSU ball, exercise ball, any of those uh, vibration platforms. How much weight can you use? Okay, that's great. How much more could you use on a stable surface? There's your answer. And then people say some things like specificity. What if I wanted to get better at balancing? I say, well, yeah, when do you need to balance? When I walk and when I run or if I'm doing sports? Okay, walking and running. Let's take a look at that. You know, when you run, your weight is magnified by like four to six times, right? So when you're on a BOSU ball, are you using four to six times your body weight? Probably not. Are you using four to six times your body weight on anything that you do? Can you squat or deadlift four to six times your body weight? Probably not. There's very few people on the planet that have probably ever even done that. So what you're doing when you're saying specificity training on a BOSU ball is you're going into a situation where the muscles do not have to produce much force and cannot produce much force because you're on an unstable surface in the first place. And then you're going to try to tell me that that's to get better at when you need to be stable and the weight that you need to stabilize is going to be four to six times higher than it is? How does that make any sense? Now, when you're walking and running, how fast are you going? It doesn't even matter, actually. But how fast are you going on a BOSU ball? Zero miles an hour. So when people tell me that it's specificity training on a stability ball or a BOSU ball, what you're saying to me is like saying, I just bought a brand new race car and I'm going to test the brakes on it. And here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to drive at walking speed, just cruising down the strip, got the windows down, talking to some honeys, whatever. And then I'm going to just slam the brakes to make sure those motherfuckers work. I say, well, yeah, is that a good test, though? When are you going to need those brakes? It's a race car, right? Well, I'll probably need them when I'm going 180 miles an hour and I need to slow down to 50 so I can make it around a turn without crashing and killing myself. I say, well, it's a good thing that you tested those brakes then at walking speed because now we know that they're reliable, right? That's what you're saying to me when you're saying I'm training stability and balance on a fucking BOSU ball. You're not training in a situation that replicates when you're going to need to balance in the first place. And in fact, because your weight is going to be magnified by four to six times, you're going to want to be on a stable surface where you can actually expose the muscles that need to support your weight to greater loads so when they need to, they actually have the capacity to do so. When you're on an unstable surface, the frequency might actually be too fast for your nervous system to comprehend and therefore your nervous system and your muscles are not able to respond and stabilize the unstable surface. Your body's going to work harder to promote stability than it is to produce force and this does not increase performance. And then people will say, what about proprioception? What about balance? And they'll say, oh yeah, all right, Bosu. Told you we're going for the jugular today. Proprioception, eh? You know what that is? Sense of position and motion. Is that not good enough for you? Okay, let's go a little deeper. The nervous system's process of determining the relative position and movement of the limbs and trunk while balancing. Balance and proprioception, not the same thing. Balance. The ability to maintain center of gravity over basis support. This is dependent on accurate information from the somatosensory, visual, and auditory systems. This is when the nervous system functions at its best and optimal motor control can be performed. I want to talk about motor control. Motor control determines the outcome of a movement. Proprioception and motor control 
are best developed by challenging balance and strength on a stable surface. You want to talk about an unstable surface? You lack somatosensory information and have to rely on the auditory and visual systems only. Therefore, the nervous system must compensate to maintain balance without accurate information. Therefore, forcing the nervous system to recalibrate input just to keep you from falling over is not training balance. You want to get better at BOSU? Do BOSU. You want to get better at squats? Do squats. You want to get better at deadlifts? Do deadlifts. You do the BOSU, you will get better at absolutely nothing except BOSU. That is why it is without a shadow of a doubt the biggest total fucking waste of all time. Throw it in the trash because that's where it belongs. Unless, of course, you want to get better at BOSU. I like the information, share it, click the fucking button at the bottom, subscribe to the channel. This motherfucker's gonna keep on bringing it.